All right, just exited off of 40, which I went on for five or 10 miles from through Fruitland, ate lunch and got gas there. And now I'm headed towards Current Creek Reservoir on Current Creek Road. So this gravel road, not my favorite. Down to 84 degrees though, not too bad. It was 90 when I left the city, or Fruitland. But uh, this is Current Creek Reservoir. But man, this skittery road. There's the dam and the creek, or the reservoir, <laughs> not a creek. But 9,700 feet almost. And climbing. Still everybody has the uh, camping spots. <laughs> Down to 77 too, it's nice here. One in the afternoon, it's nice. Except for the road. This road's pretty bumpy and rocky all of a sudden. It's had a lot of easy. No more complaining about the easy roads. I took some hard ones with major bouncy rocks. Many people. Too pretty of a day. Holiday weekend. Boy, I went through some scary areas there and didn't have my battery. Didn't have a camera on much. Almost two o'clock. There's some hard going for quite some time there and some of it really hard where I was dabbing a foot, slamming back and forth up the hill, going through big old rocks, chucking me all over the place. But Made it through, no drops, no breaks, no nothing, so grateful for the easy roads now, for sure. All right, made it to Mirror Lake. And my uh, America the Beautiful National Parks Pass is valid for here, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna try to find camping. I don't know that it'll be possible, seeing as how everybody's camped in every spot, but give her a shot. So here's where, uh, just up here, where I ripped my radiator apart last year trying to do this section of the BDR but I took a side trip down to Alexander Lake and that was a mistake right there don't do it do not do it don't do it shake my fist at it I got stuck in the rocks and spent an hour and a half getting out of there and it just killed me and my tires and then, when I was almost out, thought I was free, another rock threw me and a tree punctured my radiator. So, yeah, I never have made it past there because got up out of there and my radiator was shooting fluid and I went back down to Camas and towed her home. So we'll see how this road is. Also, I can't see this now because it just said it was too hot and shut down. Stop it. Oh my gosh, all the people here, huh? Hope I'm on the route. <laughs> oh, I ran out loud. Wow. Jeez, one rock is all it takes. Trying to see the trail and just about died. Nice. Threw me sideways. Man, I recovered. A little off trail. Hope I don't get arrested for parking over here. But I want my uh, bike by my so Hurrah! Is this the place? So, campsite's ready. Not sure uh, how great it is. It's pretty. It smells like cows and there's lots of flies. People keep stopping here. I have to keep chasing them off because I took a further back one. Hopefully they don't camp right there in front of me. I guess if they do, I'll survive. But right now I got my own pond. Maybe a bear and a moose will come visit me. More likely, a cow.
but it's nice. Oh, especially in the shade here. It's still pretty warm. And then we went to this camp spot all by myself. There were a million people everywhere else, so this is good. Not sure I chose the good side. The cows have come to invade and they really want over here. I have to keep chasing them off. I'm not going to be sleeping with cows all night. I don't want to. They dumb. They really want to come here. I put the salt lick over there for you. Now go away. Looks like we got a thunderstorm coming in. I heard two cracks of it a minute ago. I don't know if it'll hit me. It looks like it should. Put most everything under the tent. I gotta get my boots in, I guess. And the helmet. That's it. And the motorcycle. Poor motorcycle. I'll be out there all alone getting wet. like that the storm blew over and the cows left got sunny I'm able to make a little dinner hopefully boiling some water now keeps blowing have pork pad thai took a little walk over to spectacle lake and it started thundering and lightning came pretty good and it's cleared again. Smells awesome. Everything's a little moistened from a half hour rain, but it's a good day. I like these little thunderstorms coming through, cooling it down a bit, moisten it up, clean everything up. So just a quick summary of today. I started in Wellington, Utah, which is uh, section four of the BDR. Utah BDR and uh, rode all the way through to Fruitland. Took off and it was a little chilly but it was a nice ride up through Nine Mile Canyon, kind of left up Argyle Canyon, went through there and it was beautiful and the weather was perfect. Let's see what was next. Uh, Reservation Ridge, I went down a really scary road to connect to another, to another road on my way down from there and it was rocky and steep and rutted and side and sideways side hill and then i ended up going through a whole bunch of cows while i did that Just made it up to fruitland had a lunch there and got gas figured i could make it a lot further than i thought i would because that was the done that was all of section four campers and people everywhere i ran into cows most of the day and apparently i'm destined to hang out with cows all night too because the spot i picked here where i'm camping has cows that came in have a salt lick that was over here that I moved over to there so I should have known they'd come. I was hoping that maybe they were transient not around but there they are. So yeah no drops a couple of scary two or three scary spots mostly easy all day which is why I was able to make such good time and I'm probably a quarter of the way through section five and I stopped at like 3 30 or so because I was tired and done and wanted to take it easy so Found a spot, figured it would be hard to find a spot, so I was glad to find a spot, found one, stopped. And here I am, me and the cows. It's been sprinkling and blowing. It was hot when I got here, like in the 80s, and now it's got to be in the 70, probably just around 70 and windy and sprinkly, and it's beautiful. Beautiful.